I'm Steven. I'm Lucy. You are killing me in that dress. Well, hi, Megan. How are you doing? Nice to speak to I'm, you. I'm great. Nice to speak to you. So obviously, the first of all, congratulations on the series. What I've seen so far, it's fantastic. It's uh, right up my street. I loved it. Um, so I mean, obviously, this is based on a novel. I, 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 what was it the, about this specific story that resonated with you? Was it actually from the novel itself? Or were you sent the actual script? And that was when you made the decision, kind of, this was something that you wanted to uh, to work on? For the script? No, I, so I created the original script from it, but right. the novel, so I read the novel and then I, uh, Hulu sent me the novel and they, they wanted to do a show, but they didn't know what they wanted the show necessarily to be because it needed to be quite different than the novel just to make it work on screen. So I pitched my version of the show and, you know, the format and the timelines and the new characters and where it would go for a few seasons. And they hired me off of that to write the pilot. And then they greenlit us for a season, which was great. So, but what I thought Carola did so brilliantly in the book, I just had never really read something where the humiliation of being in that kind of relationship was so honestly spoken about um and she really she didn't worry about her characters being likable or unlikable or too messy and i i really respected that and i thought it was just a really fun thing to to work on i mean at the same time it talks about especially i mean obviously you talk about the, the lead character she's she doesn't really kind of show her feelings she doesn't actually feel that much herself but at the same time all these things are going on. That must have been very complicated to kind of find that balance, especially converting it for a tele to a television series, no? It was really hard. It was actually something we struggled with, not struggled, but we had to work on a lot in the early episodes, specifically when Lucy is a little bit more restrained with her feelings, is how do you show what someone's thinking if they're not saying it, if someone is not an overly verbal person. And honestly, Grace Van Patten is just so good and everything shows up on her face that she, it kind of solved all the problems. You know, if you tell Grace, like, I need your character to be thinking about Santa Claus right now. She doesn't need to say anything about Santa Claus, but you'll be able to tell that she's thinking about Santa. Like, she's just so good. Uh, yeah. So so that was great. She was really able to show all of the internal stuff on the outside. Mm -hmm. I've, I mean, I've just been speaking to some of the cast and they, they rather than kind of, uh, thinking about themselves what how they would react in the situations that we see them in the series they said it they felt it felt very much like a cautionary tale for people watching it so they kind of really wanted to take it as far as possible to kind of show people what they shouldn't do is that how you felt about it when you wanted when you kind of put pen to paper to create the scripts uh yeah absolutely to some degree you know i never want to feel too um like disciplinarian it's it's a show and i want people to have fun watching it but absolutely i do see definitely Lucy's journey as quite a cautionary tale. And I think one that a lot of us can relate to. And I, I wish that I had read this book or saw a show like this when I was 18 and having right. some of these relationships that completely, um, you know, uh, undermined my own happiness. <laughs> and I think uh, it's a very relatable thing and, but we don't, yeah, talk about it as much. Uh -huh. I mean, you said that you didn't want to kind of, come across as being disciplined for anybody. But I imagine at the same time, you wanted to kind of let discipline out of the room when you were writing the script at the same time, you know, kind of let things go as far as possible. But how did you kind of draw yourself back there when it came to that those kind of levels, limits? Sorry, what do you, what do you mean the the discipline? When you were kind of writing, when you said that you wanted kind of things to kind of be cautionary on and kind of just tell people what they shouldn't do. But at the same time, you wanted it to kind of go out there you know, to kind of make it entertaining though. So how did you kind of draw those limits so they didn't come across as being disciplinary to, to, the, to your viewers? I think it's always, it's just a balance. And luckily I had a really wonderful writing team of just knowing how far to push certain things. Sometimes you want the audience to feel uncomfortable because it's going to bring things up that maybe they'll go home and, and thinking, think about. But at the same time, you need that comedic relief. And so I think we have some characters that really bring the light and bring the joy and the humor to it. Because I think nothing is ever just one thing at a time. It's many things. It's can be funny and tragic and humiliating and, and exciting all at the same time. And I think, especially at that time in your life, it is. Yeah. Uh -huh. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Megan, we're sadly out, we're out of time, so it's, it's been really good to speak to you. I've really enjoyed the, the uh, series so far. Best of luck with it when it comes out in a couple of weeks. And I, fingers crossed, I know you said you've written a few uh, seasons. I'd love to be able to speak to you again sometime soon about it uh, in the future. Oh, yeah, fingers crossed. I really care about you.